We have so much major news this week. Artists, storytellers, beat makers, this is the latest news, deals, and free plugins from the music production world. Don't miss the first look in this episode. This thing solves two problems with one device. Okay, first, let's get that LA2A news out of the way because there's so much more to uncover in this video. Universal Audio is giving away its LA2A plugin for free right now. You have until the end of this month to get it. This is a native plugin, so you can use it without UA hardware. The LA2A is the most classic compressor used on hundreds, thousands of songs you've heard, and this is one of the best LA2A plugins I've used. It gets the job done, and it's from the LA2A company itself, Universal Universal Audio. I remember paying for an LA2A plugin from them some time back, but now you guys get it for free. Lucky you. I use the LA2A on my vocals every time. Once you try it, you'll know. Okay, so after you watch the rest of this video, go grab it. Link is below. Synplant 2 is here. This plugin uses samples to create synth patches. That's a huge oversimplification because Synplant is so much more than that. But at the core, that feature itself is a pretty cool step for AI capable plugins because, well, you can throw any sound at it and it creates a synth patch that sounds like that sound. Did I say the word sound enough? And in doing so, it attempts to make the experimentation, the evolution to that replication, the whole point of the plugin. As it creates the patch, it gives you some variations that it came up with. Then you can tweak one of them with the DNA that corresponds to your typical synth parameters. I really can't do this explanation justice in a short news segment, but I'm going to do a bit more testing with it and I'll share more with you maybe in a later video. In the meantime, you can check it out yourself in the link below. Another new synth just came out this week. We gotta talk about it. But first, Sonarworks just released a new add-on to its Sound ID reference product. It's called Virtual Monitoring. For those of you who don't know, Sound ID has been around for a while, and you can use it to calibrate the sound from your speakers and headphones to give you a better reference when mixing, basically giving you something flat. They've also had a feature called Translation Check in previous versions, which will simulate other listening situations like a car, laptop, and studio speakers. What's different with Virtual Monitoring is that they are now simulating a studio environment. And this works with tons of different headphones. And they've taken things a bit further by realistically letting a left pan sound, for example, bleed into the right side of your headphones, just like in a real studio setting with speakers. It can simulate near field, mid field, and far field. And I really hope they start adding different studio environments, kind of like how Slate did with their VSX headphones. If you already own Sound ID, the virtual monitoring add-on will cost you $49. They've got a free trial as well. I'll link it below. I've been testing this out and I really like the sound, especially because I get to use my own favorite headphones. More on that later. In an incredible turn of events, a company recently released a subscription-only product this week and then reverse course within a day because of the backlash. Minimal Audio released a new subscription-only synth plugin called Current on Wednesday, and on Thursday posted a YouTube message to customers with an apology and a plan to change the pricing model. Yes, there will be a purchase option for the current synth as well as a rent-to-own option as well. They are working on the change right now and Current will be offered for outright purchase for $199, and a rent-to-own RTO option will be offered Offered as well. No subscription. It sounds like the RTO option will give you more stuff, effects, presets, samples, and the option to put those dollars into a product from their store to own once you're off the plan. Now, what was the original subscription plan offering in the first place? Well, they have built what they're calling an ecosystem of additional content that can be accessed directly inside the synth. Additional presets, additional samples, wavetables. We'll have to see details of what you'll get with the purchase versus RTO option once they posted it online. By the way, I'm also excited to see an instrument from this company because they've come out with several awesome effects plugins in the past. Rift, 
Cluster Delay, and Morph EQ. Morph EQ made my list of the best plugins of 2022. Now, Current has Wavetable, Granular, and Sub Oscillator engines, sample stretching, and they've included features from Rift and Morph EQ, which really adds some punch and their own special sauce to this new synth. It's got a bunch of other familiar features from modern synths, including MPE compatibility too. Where minimal audio was also adding more value is something they're calling Stream. Stream is a content browser built into Current that would have continued to deliver new stuff to the synth. So had they kept the subscription model, every month you'd get new presets, samples, and wavetables. Where they'll take this feature now, we'll have to see. You can still try Current, it's on their site now, and I'll keep you posted when it's available for purchase and rent to own. Stay tuned. Okay, Darthy and I are going to unbox something pretty cool today, but let's highlight some deals first. Oh, and I almost forgot. Major news, Akai released the APC64, and I actually did a full review of it. It's the last video I posted, don't miss that. Just a couple deals to highlight today. First, Atom Audio's T5V studio monitors are $50 off right now. These made my list of some of the best studio monitors you can buy for a small studio. The only other great deal right now is on Universal Audio plugins. These are native plugins and they are heavily discounted right now. Links to these deals are below the video. Da -da 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 -da. All right, it's first look time, and I actually looked at what this is ahead of time. I kind of wish I didn't, but Why? at least you're it's, not supposed to. It's going to be a surprise to you. What Wait, the heck? what? Is this from Sweetwater? I don't think it's from Sweetwater. One for you, one for me. I know it's been a tough year Aww, so far. Let's hope everything, especially health, will get better. Until then, some sweets may help. Very, Love. very sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, here are the goods. This is Me Creator Studio. Oh. You say Me Creator and I say Me Creator too. <laughs> uh, it's by Austrian Audio. Yes, <gasps> Austrian Audio sent us this stuff to try out and we're gonna do that right now. What? Wait, no, no, you gotta see it. Oh, first. we're doing it one by one? Yeah, let's do one by one because okay. this is the main one and that's satellite just like it says. Okay, so we got this red plate kind of thing. Are you ready, people? Ta-da! Wait, is this a remote? Is this a portable <laughs> microphone? Yeah. Wow. I couldn't even get the. It looks like a remote. It looks like a satellite. You have satellite in my head because of this thing. Yes, and it's I'm a, looking at it's a, microphone. a satellite dish. You put this on your house, <laughs> and then there you go. Now we're getting reception. This is an audio interface, and you can connect an instrument into this. This is like everything in one. It's got some weight to it yeah. because it's like all metal. The whole thing is metal. <gasps> all right, we're gonna try this right now. It's supposed to be a USB audio interface, which means I can connect this to my computer and we should just be able to start recording. We gotta try the instrument too. I should be able to connect a guitar to this and play and <gasps> then record that. Oh, can you please play the guitar? Oh, this comes off. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so the black face plate can be replaced with the red. And there's magnets on every corner. As soon as you connect in, it does a little Knight Rider kit thing. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Okay, and then you've got green for, I don't know, we're gonna find out. Okay, there are three buttons. Okay. High, low, and mute. So I already see it in my DAW, so I see me creator, two inputs, and outputs. Okay, I didn't plan this, but this was the first head pair of headphones <laughs> I found in the drawer. These are okay. Austrian audio headphones. And it's now, fitting. look, it all matches. Oh, I can hear you. I can hear Kyoto. Oh, I can hear Rome going into the box right now. Rome is going into the box right now. <laughs> okay, you've got the mic set up. Headphones connected to the back. USB cable connected to the computer. And I see it as an audio interface. Here we go. And got a headphone volume here. I'm adjusting that. By the way, this is a cardioid condenser mic. And you want to hear what it sounds like? Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dharthi and Sanjay show. You know, we have an actual podcast that we've been pretending to have for so long, and it's actually real now. You can go check it out on my channel at Only One Dharthi. Wait a second. What? You just gave me an idea. Look. It's so cute. So you got the studio, and this is the satellite me creator what? satellite yeah this is optional by the way they don't all come together this is an optional thing you can get now that's connected to here and now we're recording two microphones okay so i have that on the high gain setting so there are two gain settings on this mic so you can choose high or low in today's reporting our kitty cat did make his way into the box all right a little bit about the microphone itself it's a cardioid condenser 
20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency range. It's got an SPL of 130 decibels, which means you can actually record really loud stuff. All right, so now I've got both inputs recording in Ableton, and here we go. And here's my voice. What should we sing? Your Body is a Wonderland by John Mayer. All right, we got it. You've got the afternoon. We've got this room for two. One thing I've left to do. Discover me, discovering you. <laughs> there you go i just wrote a song okay so final thoughts we actually just listened to some of our recordings for something this portable and heavy duty and looks awesome it sounds so clear this is great i like the sound of it this is like top-notch quality i really like that that's probably my favorite part about it i use some portable mics sometimes when we're recording and traveling and those, oh, yeah. they have a typical kind of sound to it. These sound a little bit more like studio mics yeah. than yeah. travel mics, don't you think? Yes, and talking about travel, I love to travel light. Like, I love to travel light. If I don't need it, I'm not taking it. This one with the audio interface and mic is 199, and then you have the satellite too. Okay, that's 99, oh. wow. Okay. Oh, it also comes with Cubase LE and WaveLab Cast. Thanks to Austin Audio for sponsoring this part of the video and for sending us these mics to let you guys hear them. I've got a major video coming. I'm testing the best headphones for music studios available today and picking my favorites. Yeah, I've actually been ordering new headphones and testing everything. Stay tuned for that video. Okay, so what do you get when you stretch out the Novation Launchpad Pro and add eight touch strips, the Akai APC64. And in this video, I'll show you why this new controller will give you everything you need, but maybe not everything you really want. Watch that video here and make the music you love. Bye.